This case study describes a wrong drug dispensing error involving an insured pharmacy under contract to an assisted living facility. A 78-year-old female in an assisted living facility received a new prescription to reduce lower extremity edema. The medication ordered was metolazone, 2.5 mg daily, a quinazoline diuretic. Six months prior to the incident, when she entered the assisted living facility, her health was reported to be stable. However, she had a 30-year smoking habit, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, moderate chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and stage 3A chronic kidney disease, which is considered to be moderate kidney dysfunction with abnormal kidney function tests. Pharmacy individuals involved in this case study included a technician, a student intern, and the licensed pharmacist preceptor on duty. The contracted pharmacy received the new prescription order by fax. Since the order was received by fax, pharmacy personnel needed to transcribe the prescription into the electronic pharmacy system and place the new medication on the medication administration record used by the nursing staff at the assisted living facility. Accordingly, pharmacy personnel proceeded to process and then deliver the medication to the facility later that day. Unbeknown to staff at the assisted living facility, Methotrexate 2.5 mg one tablet daily was dispensed by the pharmacy instead of the ordered metolazone 2.5 mg one tablet daily for the treatment of edema. Methotrexate is a high alert drug used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and other conditions. For these conditions, it is generally taken one time per week. Methotrexate is also used to treat cancer. It is only taken daily for oncological conditions. Staff at the assisted living facility administered the methotrexate as scheduled the following morning, and the resident continued to receive the incorrect medication for 10 days. During this time, the patient began to feel ill and increasingly weak. Complaints of GI distress, nausea, vomiting, and later GI bleeding followed. The patient's COPD symptoms worsened at about day 5. Out of concern for the resident's new and increasingly severe symptoms, staff at the facility notified the patient's primary care physician, and the patient was transported to a hospital emergency department for assessment. There, the patient's condition deteriorated rapidly, resulting in her admission to the intensive care unit. With her medical history and worsening pulmonary symptoms, hospital staff suspected pneumonia. A pneumonia diagnosis was confirmed, but blood tests also revealed the presence of severe pancytopenia, a decrease in all three hematologic cell lines. After reviewing the patient's existing medications, the hospitalists contacted the assisted living facility personnel as well as pharmacy personnel. This review led to the discovery of the wrong drug error. The pharmacy confirmed that metolazone 2.5 mg one tablet daily had been prescribed for the patient. However, pharmacy records indicated that the dispensed medication was labeled as and contained methotrexate 2.5 mg one tablet daily. Methotrexate is excreted by the kidneys, and this patient had stage 3A kidney disease. Her edema was a manifestation of that kidney disease. Despite the efforts of hospital ICU staff, the patient's condition continued to decline. The resident expired from respiratory system complications and sepsis within the week. An investigation revealed that the error originated immediately after the pharmacy received the prescription by fax. Failure number one. The pharmacy technician entered MET into the medication database and then selected methotrexate 2.5 mg rather than metolazone 2.5 mg. When selecting a medication from a database, it is recommended to enter at least the first five letters of the medication's name. Failure number two. Methotrexate is a high alert medication. Extra steps and verification should have occurred when this medication was selected at the pharmacy. Computer programs should tag high alert medications upon entry, and systems should require verification by a pharmacist before dispensing these medications. Failure number three. The error was not discovered by the pharmacy intern's check step, and the prescription was filled as methotrexate 2.5 mg one tablet daily. Pharmacies should have checked procedures for verifying medications. These procedures should include bundling the original prescription with the new medication administration record, MAR, label, and bottles of medication. Any high alert medication should be tagged as such with an auxiliary label and a designation on the MAR for nursing staff. Failure number four. 
the pharmacist preceptor failed to perform a final check before completion and delivery of the order. As much as possible, pharmacies should limit access to high-alert medications to appropriately trained staff. Failure number five. The wrong medication was entered onto the medication administration record at the assisted living facility. The medication dispensed matched the medication on the MAR, leading the nurse to believe that the medication dispensed was correct. Since the order had been faxed, then entered into the medication database incorrectly by the pharmacy and placed on the MAR incorrectly, the nursing staff at the assisted living facility never had access to the original prescribed order when performing their medication verification. The family filed a professional liability civil lawsuit naming the prescribing physician, the assisted living facility, the pharmacy, the pharmacist, and the pharmacy intern who was insured by the university. Defense experts agreed that there was a failure in the standard of care. The investigation revealed that the pharmacy intern's actions contributed to the medication error. Nevertheless, according to state administrative rules, the pharmacist preceptor was, quote, responsible for the intern's actions, end quote, related to the practice of pharmacy. So the pharmacy intern was later dropped from the lawsuit. The physician was later dropped from the suit. The physician had correctly written the prescription for metolazone without error. However, experts concluded that the medication error likely contributed significantly to the patient's death. The plaintiff also asserted negligence on the part of the assisted living facility since the facility and its personnel were responsible for administering the medication. The facility asserted that the pharmacy was solely responsible for the medication error and that the assisted living facility staff had simply administered the dispensed medication. The labeled medication, methotrexate 2.5 mg, was consistent with the updated medication administration record provided by the pharmacy. The outcome of the plaintiff's actions against the assisted living facility is unknown. After investigating the events leading to the prescription error, the pharmacy defense team recommended making a settlement. The initial demand of the plaintiff exceeded policy limits. However, the evidence compiled, along with defense expert opinions related to causes, aided negotiations. The result was a policy limit settlement. A policy limit settlement means that the insurer and the plaintiff agree to a settlement of the maximum amount covered by the insurance policy. This type of settlement avoids a jury trial where the settlement might exceed the maximum policy limits. In this case, the total settlement was more than $1 million. In addition, the State Board of Pharmacy imposed significant disciplinary actions against the pharmacist, including license probation, a fine, and required continuing education. Note that the monetary amount represents the legal defense expense payments made solely on behalf of the insured pharmacy. Consider these actions to help prevent errors with high alert medications. Specific to methotrexate. Set the default on the electronic system to administer a weekly dose for oral methotrexate prescription orders. The majority of methotrexate prescriptions call for a weekly dosage. Require a system hard stop verification for all daily methotrexate prescription orders before dispensing if there is no documented oncologic diagnosis or if kidney function tests are abnormal. Provide the patient or caregiver with counseling on oral methotrexate and confirm understanding of the dose schedule and medication risks. For example, refer patients or caregivers to the Consumer Information Leaflet on Methotrexate from the Institute for Safe Medication Practices, the ISMP. General Actions Provide a distraction-free environment for staff when filling prescriptions. Set up systems to ensure independent verification of orders. Periodically audit medication dispensing processes. Set alerts and defaults for high alert medications in the electronic pharmacy system. Consider a secondary labeling system and unique automated warnings for high alert medications. Enter a minimum of five letters into the pharmacy medication electronic database to mitigate the risk of selection errors. If possible, include both the brand name and the generic name in electronic database selection menus and search options as another strategy to reduce the chance of a selection error. Limit access to high alert medications to appropriately trained staff. Ensure that pharmacy computer systems incorporate critical alerts for medications with narrow therapeutic indexes and for high alert medications. Establish a protocol to confirm routine system updates. 
Use pharmacy computer systems that are designed to perform dose range checks and to warn staff regarding potentially dangerous doses, overdoses or subtherapeutic doses, for medications with narrow therapeutic indexes and for high alert medications. At a minimum, provide annual education to pharmacy staff on strategies to avoid errors with high alert medications, narrow therapeutic index medications, and other error-prone medications or devices. Incorporate medication safety discussions into regular team meetings. Review all near misses, successful safety process improvements, and corrective actions. Review patient's diagnoses along with all administered medications when a patient's condition worsens. Report errors immediately. The physician and the assisted living facility followed correct prescriptive and administration processes. The State Board of Pharmacy imposed significant disciplinary actions against the pharmacist preceptor, including license probation, a fine, and required continuing education. High alert medications like methotrexate should be treated according to published standards and safeguards. Set weekly dose regimens as the electronic system default for all oral methotrexate prescription orders. All staff should question high alert medications dispensed without an indication or where no indication is found in the medical record. Require a system hard stop verification or clarify confirmation for all daily methotrexate prescription orders before dispensing if there is no documented oncological diagnosis. Laboratory tests should be checked to assure proper metabolism and excretion of high alert medications. Although independent double checking of medication orders may identify errors before dispensing, double check systems will sometimes fail and should not be relied upon to eliminate errors. Instead, bundle double checks with other risk reduction strategies and system changes to effectively reduce medication errors and prevent patient harm.